Protective cropping technologies for off-season vegetable production was the key theme of a regional training in Fiji from the 1st to the 5th of June that was attended by participants from seven countries across the Pacific. The meeting was funded by the European Union through the SPC Implemented Pacific Agriculture Policy Project. The exciting meeting emphasized the important role of off-season vegetable farming to the food security aspirations of the Pacific Islands. The Managing Director of the Pacific Islands Farmers Organization Network, Kyle Stais, set the scene with some key points outlining the opportunities and constraints. When we talk about the off-season, we're generally talking about our uh, summer months when it's hotter and wetter. In Fiji that's between November and April. In these months the uh, production of certain vegetables, particularly our temperate vegetables, tomatoes, watermelon, uh, capsicum, English cabbage, lettuce, is quite difficult because of the high rain and the high temperatures. So in those months there's a shortage of shortage of supply. That shortage of supply causes uh, prices to go up. So we looked at some uh, market figures. Uh, they were talking about uh, uh, tomato prices as low as $2 a kilo in the main season and uh, as high as uh, $16 a kilo in the off season. Salendra Prasad gave an overview of the technology supporting off season vegetable production, which was well received by the participants. Key issues highlighted included variety selection, nurseries, protective cropping, crop management such as staking and pruning, as well as the critical issue of pest and disease identification and management. Pest and disease is a danger that needs to be addressed if off-season vegetable production is to flourish in the Pacific. And the SPC plant health team took some time to address this, giving an overview of different pests and diseases, identification and management strategies. We learned a lot. I mean, I learned a lot, especially to do with uh, irrigation, farm irrigation, crop management, the different types of shade cloth to use. Joining this training uh, phase uh, technology for the opposition, phase of production, and also uh, change ideas with uh, other people from the region of the Pacific. And uh, from there, I uh, am happy to thank the SPC people for funding this project. Elio Jovasic further introduced the participants to the concept of protective cropping for vegetables, highlighting its benefits and challenges. Every farmer is here is very interested in these uh, new technologies. We have to adapt them to uh, uh, the, the cost that they can afford. So we are trying to look at a variety and a range of, of technologies. Uh, everybody is, is very interested uh, at the outcomes and the type of plants that you can grow and the yields and quality that you can achieve. Rigorous discussion was held among the groups when they shared their thoughts on the main off-season varieties in each Pacific Island country. To further emphasize the points being made at the workshop, participants visited the Singataka Research Station Protective Cropping Demonstration Site. The training was both held in-house and out in the field incorporating concepts and its practical application. Fiji's famous Singatoka Valley was also visited, as the workshop strengthened the interaction between the farmers. Our place has been answered. Eh? Uh, as a, the last season, we've uh, experienced a low production during the office, and how we how can manage it. So after this training, now coming towards the end of it, our farmers are grasping them. I told them before the training, try to grasp the main concept of the training. Now they just uh, they try to uh, during the break, the break or lunch, they uh, get a discussion. I've learned a lot of things uh, which is we uh, I've uh, never know, uh, which is which is good for us, for me to go back to Fanuatu and teach all my uh, families and all my relatives that the, what I've learned from the workshop. Sant Kumar of Bula Agro Enterprises, one of the region's respected farmers, also shared his knowledge and methods on vegetable seedling production. And our forefathers used to say, plant now, the children are going to eat. I'm changing that. You plant now and eat with the children. Staking, training and trellising were also discussed as methods for managing crops under protective cropping. Two further major and exciting field visits were undertaken on the final day of the training. In Tavua, participants visited a vegetable seedling nursery and a protective cropping demonstration site. A scenic and memorable trip to Nandarivatu in the Fiji Highlands region was the final journey to end the workshop. Here, participants were introduced to the Highland advantage for off-season production. 
Visits to Highland Vegetable Production Sites was a highlight, and participants took the time in this beautiful and productive environment to express their thoughts and appreciation of the workshop. I'll take back uh, lots of things that I was uh, learned during the workshop by Kid Solomon, especially for the, uh, the structures which I learned from here. I will take the concept out of what I was learned here, then uh, I'll teach back my farmers back in the Solomon. Seeing is believing, and this particular farm is a, is a perfect uh, place to, to see commercial nursery work and commercial vegetable production uh, in action. The outcomes and findings of the workshop is now being outlined in a booklet that will be made available to farmers across the region. Farmers at the workshop gained valuable skills and saw firsthand how the off-season can remain a productive season.